In today's video, I'm turning your photos into something epic and spooky because it's Halloween. Well, it's not, but it, it, it's going to be. I don't want to waste any of your time today, but before we start, a very quick thing. We now have a Discord server. We've been having one a while now. And in there, we actually do a lot of really fun stuff. So if you're interested, definitely make sure to check the link down below and then join the server. Then if you want to send your photos for the next episode of editing your photos, make sure to send it to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. It's the same one as always, so can't miss it. The first one today was sent in by Thompson. I'm Thompson from India. Can you make something cool with this photo? I sure as hell will try. Let's hop into Photoshop and get started. I just can't get over how stupid this mask looks. Like someone made this and was like, yeah, this is this is amazing. Anyways, guys, because I thought it's the spooky season, why not uh, be in character for this one? I can see exactly 50% of what I can usually see. So, I mean, that's just fantastic, really. Let's first drag in our beautiful subject and then we are going to add some clothing because obviously we only have half of her. For example, this one right here, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I'm going to put it right about here and use some warp to kind of attach it to her own clothing if that makes sense something like this doesn't seem so bad so now i have to add some more of these it's really just all the same and then this last one is reaching all the way to the ground yeah that's cool all of these are red and her clothing is obviously not so we have to make uh, this a lot darker so i'm pretty sure something like this is pretty good it does look Kind of nice. Then let's fade this one out a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. Here and there, some shadows, of course, can't hurt. You guys know how this works. Yes, this is starting to look nice. Look at that. We'll call this witch. And let's go with this beautiful image. Then let's go ahead and add some blue to this. And then first, actually, let's remove the background. And I think quick selection may just work pretty well. Something like this. There you go. I don't like these blocks, so I'm gonna try and see what happens if I try to remove them by using some content aware fill. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. This mask is actually so annoying. Like I do quite often, I'm gonna add a nice blur to the background. This seems to be looking quite good. Let's hit OK. Then one also has a beautiful sky. Look at how cool this looks. And I also have some mountains for the background. So for that, I'm going to use these. Then I'm pretty sure we can just kind of put this right here then we just have to remove the top area and then we're all set i don't even know what it is i'm doing right now but it looks nice so i'll just continue to do this okay so now we gotta make sure that it looks like she's actually standing in this landscape let's start by making her a lot darker and then we probably want to add some blue to her as well then like you may have expected we're also going to need some shadows here and there there are some areas on the dress that just are too bright for what they so are therefore we'll just add some nice shadows and later highlights too of course that's gonna make this look real nice why do i keep doing these weird things to myself i didn't need to wear this anyways that is looking pretty good then i'm gonna make another shadow which is going to be a bit more of a global one in front of her then like i said we're also going to need some highlights so let's go and start right here actually first uh yeah the light is coming from back here but i think i'm also gonna add some thunder so the light's also gonna come from above so you could say the light just comes from behind that quite covers it i am very curious is what this one's gonna look like not almost done but at least i've done the part on her now i still need to do the entire freaking dress but that's fine let's just go for it because i am pretty sure it's gonna look super dope very nice right now i just hope it's gonna be worth the effort because if it's not then this is a lot of wasted time right here okay i think that should be pretty much it as you can see there is a major difference than what it was before this is far better far better just using the same old mist brush i've been using the whole time okay now i am starting to sound like bob ross what the heck and a little bit of light coming from the background here this one really turned very cool very fast i don't know how this happened so then for the lightning idea i had i found this and if i set the blend mode to screen and just make it a little bigger i think we're pretty pretty close already see something like this then we just need to add the same glow which i have here so it should be there in three two one there it is however you can see now it's not very bright anymore so let's go in here and add some bokeh 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 what even 
What even is that word? There you go. That's looking fresh right there. So let's give this one a nice, very bright sort of glow as well, because it's it's very bright, just like I said one second ago. So that looks nice and all, but I think we are going to need some highlights on these buildings as well, because it's so bright. And another little thunder thingy on this side also looks kind of nice. I don't know, I was just kind of missing something, and I think this is just exactly that. Of course, we do need the same highlights on these, so... Uh, Let's do that. Let us add a bunch of particles around the thunder. I may add some more stuff, but I'm just really curious what this looks like with a filter. So I'm going to try that. Camera raw filter. This is where the fun begins. Right. There you go. Hit OK. And as you can see, that is a big improvement. And looking at it right now, I don't think I should add more stuff because I don't want to ruin this. Well, if I do add something, you'll see right about now. But if I didn't, then I guess this is it and we can go back. To the studio and there you go i like this one a lot actually so i hope you do as well i'll send this back to you asap then did you notice that join button if you become a member of the channel you will get early access to photoshop edits news and themes and you also have guaranteed hearts and replies to comments and of course you get the epic stickers and badges i guess click join and find out yourself then the next photo was sent in by lesek if you have some time please do something with my photo maybe something like battlefield or anything you want have a nice day. Thank you for this photo. Is Call of Duty okay too? Because I'm pretty sure some zombies could look very badass on this. Let's drop this into Photoshop. Lap pop pop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Photoshop. Isn't this photo just beautiful? This photo is freaking beautiful. First of all, as always, let's go and grab the pen tool very quick and just kind of go over this edge. Doesn't have to be too precise, but just a little bit. Almost there. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. Background gone. I also kind of removed the other guy, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Collateral damage. Then I have a bunch of these zombies which I would like to add. If you don't like scary and nasty stuff, maybe this isn't a video for you. But uh, anyway, here is the first one. I'm gonna put her somewhere here. Kind of looking at him from behind that rock. Then we have this beauty. Look at her. She's gonna kind of uh, chill around right here. And then we have this last guy right here. And let's put him somewhere on this side, I'm guessing. And then, of course, we need a beautiful sky. So I think this may just work. I'm gonna put one on the left and one on the right to hopefully make it nice and big a little darker on the left very good then the foreground needs to be a lot darker let's try something like this and we need as usual actually a lot more blue because night equals a lot of blue let's try something like this so this doesn't really look like night yet but i'm sure that will come the moon is also a necessary factor let's put this on screen and put it maybe a little smaller instead so it's a bit more realistic it's still too big technically but it looks nice. Maybe we need some haze here in the background. Like that. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. And some of that sort of glow around the edges as well. That's gonna look amazing. By the way, since the background is blurred, so should the sky. So let's go to filter and add a very nice background blur. Look at that. That's actually maybe a bit much. I think, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some shadows. I am just gonna put some of these guys all over the freaking place. Clearly, the light is coming from above, so we don't need all of this detail down here just like so maybe lock them doors and turn the lights down low yes this is starting to look nice let's make the moon pop a little bit more there you go nice glow and you guys know what that means we are going to need some highlights oh yes let me move some of these sliders a little bit and then we can simply paint over some of these areas dancing in the moonlight a little bit on this guy himself as well so now it's time to add some of the zombies back here you go i guess we can start uh, with this one a little bit darker this hair be looking fresh that is looking pretty nice actually then i had this idea wouldn't it be cool to give these zombies like the lit up eyes and make them nice and orange and then add some yellow in the middle maybe maybe we can add like a glow there you go that looks actually quite nice maybe a bit more orange and maybe we should draw just a little bit of light around them actually very cool i'm not gonna lie i did not see that happening uh that is interesting so this same thing i'm gonna do to the other zombies as well highlights once again this is going to look very nice wouldn't it be the coolest coolest thing to just sort of add 
a laser pointer right here. Just something like this. That is actually sick. And like a nice sort of smoky texture on it. There you go. Yeah, that, that really makes it a lot better. Now, what is this missing? I was going to add some fire to this, like down here maybe, but looking at it like this, I think it can only ruin it. Now, let's see how big of a difference this is going to make. And then I guess... That's it. I definitely don't want to overdo it, so I think uh, it's pretty much done. And there you go. I'll make sure to send this back to you ASAP. Then the next and final one for today I think is going to be great is sent by Shortails. Hi Benny, you're a really great artist and your work really deserves respect and admiration. If there is one thing we artists need on a regular basis, it's new challenges and people we can inspire with our work. I still have some raw images from my first photo shoot and I'm happy to let you use them for your videos, just to have fun experience. Greetings from Germany. I totally agree. I really love your photo too. And I even have a pretty cool idea for this one. Let's go get him. It all started with a placement of some of the base photos I found. I made sure the landscape filled up the entire ground area and once this looked decent, I started adding the little buildings. These I masked out and placed somewhere in the composition. Once everything was kind of in place, I started darkening the landscape again. It was of course going to be night, so a lot of blue was required once again. I experienced with a bunch of clouds, but this didn't look so great, so I moved on to the first fire photo. I put it on top of the first buildings on the right and masked away some of the parts to really attach it to the house, if that makes sense. I realized where there's fire, there is smoke, so I added a massive smoke image to the background. It took a while before it actually looked good, but like always, it's trusting the process for this one. Getting the right amounts of light and color was tricky, but it ended up working quite well. Now I started working on the buildings on the left side, so I added fire to it and again cut away some parts. I added glows and adjusted the color until I was satisfied. Later I also put fire inside of the building as I felt it didn't really look intense enough. The roof being on fire alone didn't seem very realistic to me. To really sell the effect, I started adding some yellow and orange light on the buildings and surrounding land. This really helped for the believability of the whole thing. Since the fire is so bright, of course it's casting light onto the areas around it. It only makes sense, really. I blended the background towers into the background and added the necessary fire images to really make it look like one big village. This is when I began working on the night, starting with the main shadow on the grass. The night himself wasn't very well lit in the first place, so darkening wasn't really important right now. The highlights were though, so this was the next step. The base I did with exposure, so later I could add color to it. To add some haze and smoke behind the night, I added various solid colors and painted over them using a mist brush. You guys know how much I love moons, so of course I couldn't resist to put one in here as well, right above the smoke. I also added some light around the smoke to really make the moon pop like that. It is a moon, but we can all agree it doesn't quite have the same vibe as it usually has in my work, which is great. From here I added more of the same, some more fire, some sparks, basic blending and of course a camera raw filter at the end. I think it is quite interesting to see that this time they're all on the same level, more or less. Usually just the first one is really good and then the last one's kind of shitty. But this time I don't really have a favorite, I guess I just like all of them. And remember guys, if you want to send your photo for the next episode, make sure to send it to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. That's not my business email. And then, uh, 
I guess that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe. That would actually mean the world to me. Then I hope I'll see you in the next spooky video.